great. Ooh. It doesn't count you down. It should. Yeah. It's outrageous. It just spins, and now it says you're live. Bang. Anticlimactic, if you ask me. Only six minutes. Hmm. All right. We ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, it wasn't that bad. It is another edition of the IOMS podcast. It was that bad if you listened to the WIP callers this morning. Wow. Dad. The sky is falling. The bullpen's terrible. Rob Thompson's the worst manager who ever lived. The, they can't hit. They're soft. They're sitting players. Yes. Yes. How you doing? We're back. We couldn't Dude. be more back. We yeah. are so like squarely oh, back. They, they didn't even have the ramp up period. I know. You know, like Joel and B's going through the ramp up period. Yeah, I guess I get, we didn't get that. We didn't get no, that at all. We went right you know, back it was into right. It. Yeah. It was, it was, this weekend was treated like the NLCS. Yeah, it was. And it was. Like, was. It, it almost erased what they did to the to the the Braves in the playoffs. I think for a lot of know, Braves fans, they certainly I felt know. that way. I mean, oh my goodness. Now I will say. In, in full disclosure, I went from so happy they're back to this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. In my life oh, yeah. Quickly. Like, no yeah. one quicker. Yeah. Because, again, we've, we've talked about this a lot on this podcast, right? Where I perceive myself, where I give off this perception mm -hmm. they, yeah, cool, cool, calm, calm. Yeah, collected yeah. Yeah. leader. Oh, that's, I didn't know that. That was good. Is that where I did yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. And then they start losing. Yeah. And boy, I actually wrote down. So I want to start doing a. I want to start doing a new segment. Okay. I like this. This is like your diary as you watch games or something. Boomer opinions that I <laughs> that I that I did think this weekend as they that were is losing. The funniest thing about us. I am I am significantly older than you, and you are way more of a boomer than I. Yeah, am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one boomer opinion I had this weekend mm -hmm. that I don't really believe, but there's <laughs> during the game is you know you, you thrust into action. Yes, yes. You got to really step up. Got to have more put the ball in play, guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> Too many strikeouts. It's, it's, it is a lot of like, It was 28 They only struck strikeouts. out three times yesterday. Which so. means that they struck out 25 times in the first two games. That is a lot it's of strikeouts. It's a lot of strikeouts. <laughs> I mean, and it's frust the frustrating part about the strikeouts is... Coming off the end of last year. And it's, the yeah, it's like, you know, all right, you know, there's something you you all should work on, right? <laughs> like, coming this season and... And maybe strike out less, but the, put the ball in play put more. Put the ball in yeah. play. And put then the it's like you go right to that. It's like, ooh, okay. Yeah, don't like it. <laughs> I know that. No, the, the worst part is that <laughs> like, you could spend all offseason with all the, uh, you know, Rojas batting ninth. It's like a pitcher batting ninth. Then you experience it. And mm -hmm. It's like, mm, that's kind of strange. Dude, it, it's so bad where people, like even Rob Thompson's like, well, at least he beat out that ball, and it I wasn't it. The, the highlight of the weekend for Yohan Roas was at least he didn't get doubled up on that play. It's big. And it helped us win the game. Like, yikes, dude. That's <laughs> big. It matters. Big, capital Y, yikes right there. Well, and then it's always like, well, strikeouts, you know, the, the count statement isn't out. <laughs> God, I just hate watching guys. I just hate watching strikeouts, man. I really do. Yeah. Well, it, and look, when you, you know, we have saw it a lot last year, and the, the more we see, what was it, uh, uh, first and second, no out. Bases loaded, no out. You don't get any runs out of that type of stuff. I mean, you know, that can that can become pretty frustrating yeah, over yeah. the course of a season. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Because, again, now we watch every single game thinking, is this going to hurt them in October? I know. Which is a, a complete <laughs> philosophy an, an change. An insane way to watch baseball on it, the beginning of April. <laughs> on, yeah, yes, on, yeah. In March. Yeah, March. Yeah. I was about to say in, in April. I'm like, wait, we haven't even watched baseball in April yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the second boomer opinion that I that I <laughs> felt over the weekend. I'm a big fan of this. This is good. Felt this in my, in my gut, in my soul. There's no athlete in Philly sports that I feel like you can put bleeping this in front of them more than Nola where it's oh, just like I know. bleeping Nola. I know it's a, I think someone tweeted out a photo of a guy with a bleeping Nola jersey and it was like it's so it's perfect it's so yeah. perfect I mean, it's just <sighs> seven years I got nothing to say about it I, I I did not think he was gonna have a good year I did not make any bold predictions about him I was not in on the Nola bandwagon this year I knew this was coming so, so yeah I'm actually, <laughs> uh, I'm actually d disappointed in both of us, frankly, mm -hmm. because it's like we just completely erased from our brain the entire last season. season. It was like, oh, he made a mechanical adjustment and pitched well, kinda in the playoffs, and it's like, 
He's back. He's back. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah they got was, the real Noel. It was a really bad job by us. Yeah. Because like, uh-huh. I was watching him and I was like, no, no, <laughs> no. This is, I watched this all. No, stop. You got paid. You get the mechanical adjustment. Look at third base. Look at first base. <laughs> whatever. Like, look at, look at, point the shoulder. Get the shoulder over there. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Oh my gosh! And we well, certainly got to see a lot of it too. Oh Just god! Sitting out it's, there dying on a vine, it was like, yeah, oh well, cause, my cause, god! Because they used like half the bullpen. No, I get it. I get it. But you see, like the Braves pull freed, <laughs> settle down, and win the game. Like, and we just watch Nola just out there, just getting obliterated. It's like this is great. Speaking of boomer opinions, yeah, eighty nine pitches were getting them out. I mean, we were <laughs> shoving, man. I know. Like, I don't care if it's game one. He's cost us ninety two wins, possibly. Yeah, I, I. I can't get mad at that. You want to get mad? No, I'm not actually mad. But you know what? I w- Boomer or not, like, how do you not bring Jeff Hoffman in to face Adam Duvall? Like, what the hell are you thinking? In- that was that- bad. That was, like, flat out bad. I mean, that was actively bad managing. Like, again, I know people ripping it, whatever. If they had left Wheeler out for another thing, I would have been fine with it. But, like, it's opening day. I have no problem with them after six shutout being like, all right, Zach, you did great today. We're good. Don't stress the arm. Not going to Hoffman there was crazy. He went to him the next day. He was waiting. He was ready. Like, that made absolutely zero. And they lost the game there. That's when the game mm-hmm. fell apart. Like, it made zero sense. Yeah, it was. So, there's a couple of sickening things that happened this weekend. Um, one, Jesse Chavez coming in and, yeah, yeah, and just going just, shove city for boom. about. No, bro. Are you, oh, hold on. Freed can't go. Th- I got it. Don't, guys, no yeah. worries. Chavez to save the day. Dude, I think Jesse Chavez, I think his ERA in spring was. Well, can I, can I say what you texted night. me? During the game? Oh, I would have rather paid Jesse Chavez seven years, $171 <laughs> million than her Nola. Yep, yeah. I got that tag. This is great. <laughs> just kidding. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Don't hold. Hold on. Don't hold texts during the game again. Sure, yes, that, that would be very unfair. We can't do that. Yeah. No, but um, yeah. So, so the, yeah, the, obviously we'll get into more of this as we go along. But yes, the... Oh, it's not just going to be boomer opinions for 50 minutes and that's the pod? No, no, no. Because no, okay, no. everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. It was a stressful week. I mean, let, let's be honest. I mean, they improved on last year. Yes. Start 0 and 4 last year. I mean, we're already significantly Again, better. Sweeping teams is bad <laughs> yeah, to open the yeah, year. Right. Hope is bad. We've been over this a million times. Uh, the second you start having belief, shout is when out it all to falls Jonathan apart. tweeted at us Hey, 2021. I know. Philly swept the Braves to start the year. What happened? Braves won the World Series. Just saying. Bryce's first year, I believe they took two or three. They, no, they, they swept them that year, too, in 2019. Oh, really? Mm hmm. I think I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive. Okay, uh, I think it was whatever. And then I, the, I know they swept him in 2021. You might yes. be right. Well, 2021 they right. definitely did. Yeah, you might be right. 2019 might be two or three. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Uh, and then the final, which we'll get further, further, and further, further, further into. Yes, the freaking sitting guys thing. It's just, oh, I mean the stat, the stat one drives me nuts. Let's let's just start right yes, there, and we'll go the, back. The big, like, the big headline of the right, weekend. So first and foremost. I do not believe, look, maybe they were going to get Bryce a day off coming up soon because of the back, like, that's fine. I do not believe for one second, one half a second, that he, he was scheduled to sit on Sunday with a full stadium against the Atlanta Braves the opening weekend of the season. Bryce Harper was not sitting that game. Like, I do not believe that for a second. Now, having fallen, and one of the most terrifying moments for me in a really long off, time. Like, off. That, that three seconds before he popped up, it was like, Trauma. Like, I still thinking about it. I can barely, I, like, I'm, I'm, I, it's traumatic. So, quick, quick thought on the Harper thing. He is, it's the most reckless dude ever. <laughs> like, stop. Well, and he's actually gotten incredibly lucky with injuries. Like, I know, I know he, he should broke be hurt. His, Wait, you're right. Like, he, he missed his eyeball. Like, Genesis Cabrera barely missed his eyeball. Yep. Blake Snell didn't hit his head. Yep. He fell into the stands yesterday, yep. into the concrete portion of the, the fallen area or whatever. And he was fine, I think. We'll see. If the, I, Maybe a little sore, probably, hey, but be in the lineup today. Yeah, I know. seriously though, dude. I mean, Don't want to put any red flags. Seriously, on there. dude. I mean, we're get, we're getting really mad if he's not. But yeah, like so, I I don't believe that. But whatever, he fell like maybe he's sore. Like I'm fine with him sitting there. Why is Bryson Stott not in the lineup? And also, look, I get you. You love to sit March against lefties. Are you ever gonna play March against lefties? Is he just a platoon guy for the rest of his career here? You traded Logan O'Hoppy for him. Like I just and the Stott thing, like. Bryson Sutch being in the lineup, 162 games, Jack. Like, maybe he needs one day here or there. He's 25 years old or whatever. He should play 160 games. Like, what are we doing here? So, a couple thoughts. The the Marsh one annoys me. Uh, the that one, obviously. But the Marsh one, like, he, the problem with that is that he's going to go up there every time against the lefty, pressing. 
And because he thinks you don't trust him. He, he thinks, thinks this is his shot him. to play against lefties. Every time he goes up there, it's like the end of the world if he doesn't hit a lefty. Meanwhile, they give they give Rojas all the rope in the world. It's crazy. Like they, they, <laughs> they put now you know, it was a smart move because like but there was a situation yesterday where they could have saved Marsh to bat for Rojas, but they had him bat for Pache instead. So um but like it's the the Marsh thing just annoys me from the standpoint of like he clearly doesn't think you guys trust him against lefties. I'm fine if you want to play Pache. It's just third game of the season. Like he had he not pinch hit, he would have sat two to three games over the weekend. Yeah. So and and it worries me. It's gonna get into his head of like, oh, believe they don't try. And then he struck out what twice yesterday mm-hmm. against lefties, yep. which like isn't great. But at the same point, like if 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 he feels like you guys don't trust him, then then he's gonna of course go up there pressing. And and he's never gonna get good at hitting lefties if you don't let him hit lefties. Like, sure, flat out. Totally. And then. The Stott thing, and this is my concern when they signed Merrifield, was yes, how much is base. he going to play yeah. second base and how much do they – but the thing is that Stott can hit lefties, and that's what drives me nuts. And Bryson Stott, it did, like, he should be in your lineup every day. Like, there are he certain did Paul Utley against lefties. There's, I'm not com- comparing the two, but no, he probably wasn't just out. Certain, dude, Bryson Stott's a good hitter. He yeah. can hit lefties. There are certain guys who are just in your lineup every day. Like, that's just their – and that's him. I, I just – it's so crazy to me. I, I – again – Two weeks into the season, you want to give him a right. sit against a tough. Sure, I get it. It's the opening series, man, and you're zero and two. Now they won, but still, like, it's. I just don't get it. Like, I don't get. Again, I can get pulling Wheeler. I can get being worried about your bullpen, especially now that Walker's down. You know what Turnbull's going to give you. You know Christopher Sanchez has the flu thing. He's going to. I get it. You're concerned about the bullpen to start the season. That makes sense to me. I can understand. I can't make sense of not using Hoffman instead of Strom in that spot. But I can get saving pitchers thinking about the long term there. This makes zero sense to me. I just don't like I you want to get guys at bats early in the year. That I can understand. All right. You want to get guys out there, get involved and all that, but like sitting Marsh and Stott and Harper in the same like it just make I in the third game of the well, season. I, 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 I don't think Harper's and it's not like Chris I agree. And it's not like Chris Sale, it like he's he's a, a lefty. It's not like he's freaking Cy Young Chris Sale anymore. It's not like he's unhittable for lefty. It just sorry. I know. I'm, I'm, I was very frustrated. Well, and we'll see what happens tonight. I mean, yeah, well, ton- yeah. I mean, Andrew Abbott's on the mound's th- third straight game against a yeah. lefty. And I would actually say Andrew Abbott, in terms of facing a lefty, probably tougher right now for lefties, than, or as tough as you. Nah, I'm probably not. That's not fair. No, no. No. I'm underrating. Sale looked pretty good. You I did mean, look good. You did look good. Now, Abbott, Swart though, took him Abbott, yard, baby. Abbott is a lefty, though, that, like, I, you know, you, tough. Oh, crafty. I would think deception. Yeah, you know I mean? I would think it's hard for lefties to see the ball against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Andrew Abbott's a, a good little pitcher. Yeah. But, uh, like, it's... You're playing the Reds in the second second series. Exactly. Go see go go see if Brandon Marsh yep. can do it. Go see the Stott thing. I don't think will happen. They, but they they did this all last year too. I, well, that's what concerns me. Yeah. Is like you know I like he should have he proved you last year. You don't need to do this. Mm-hmm. Like so you know it just doesn't make any sense to me. Mm-hmm. It felt it felt forced. And again, look, I you know we love Topper. I mean, I think he had a really rough opening weekend. I mean, yeah, he I really mean, did the decision on the decision on. Friday was I. I mean, that was the worst decision of the weekend. By he, far. he kept saying, he said like, I like to, <laughs> I liked his pitches against uh, Duvall's swing. It's like I don't buy that for a second. A second, yeah. it makes no sense. No. Like, and then honestly, I didn't. I thought he left Alvarado in a batter too long too. At that point, it was clearly didn't have it. I understood that one more than the the not going off in spot, but it just felt like he had no feel for the games. Well, it was good that. It was good that that Alvarado bounced back and like Huge. looked like and Alvarado strong yesterday. too. Both of them, like that was really nice to see both those guys. Now, the one we're concerned about, Sir Anthony hmm? did not bounce back. Has not looked great. I mean, it was better better than than the first outing. But how can like again? I'm blanket statement. I am not overly concerned about anything that happened this weekend. But like, if I had to point to like guys where I'm like, all right, like I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Like Sir Anthony was bad last year. Has not sure. gotten back to where we wanted to be and. You know, didn't start as hot as I hoped. Well, Sir Anthony, yeah. So it was good to see the velocity back up to ninety nine. He did show some things. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought the, just had. I, I don't. I don't think he has has feel for the slider yet. I think the fastball is pretty good, but he doesn't have that secondary pitch that he feels feels like he can throw for a strike. Like the change up's not there yet. Um, but at the same time, relievers are so weird to where like they could have some blow up and then blow zero. Yeah, and then and then be great for two months, no doubt. So what still gives me hope about for Anthony is is how good he looked in the postseason last year. I think that's still in there. But in the in the, in the time being, it's time to give Hoffman more of these 
high leverage no late, doubt. late in games. And I, and I know what Hoffman did yesterday was important, right? Like he got through Acuna, Albies, and Olsen, or Riley. And on Friday, too, coming into that spot and shutting it down in that spot. Kept them in the game there. And Jeff all Hoffman. He's a stud, dude. By the way, might need to extend him. Like, <laughs> Seriously, If you're going to yeah. extend Strom, yeah. they extend Jeff Hoffman, too. Yeah. Because he's, he's, he's quickly developing into the best right-handed option they have out of the bullpen. Yeah, like, I, tr- like, I, without a doubt, trust him the most. Of it. Like, after Alvarado, if I have to get an out, I'm probably going to Hoffman. Yeah. Anyone in the bullpen. He's probably my number two guy I'm going to. And it was it was, it was was cool yesterday because um, Taryn was talking. I guess she talked to him before the game. And he said, yeah, I got to spend all offseason not trying to get a job. I spent all offseason trying to work on all my pitches. <laughs> like, <laughs> what a thought. Like, working all my pitches. So, like, we could see a, a, an even better version. And it's just, I love the moxie. I, I love the freaking 90 mile an hour. Mm-hmm. He's just... He's hard to square up. And he's intimidating. Like, that, oh, that monster walks out on the mound. You're like, hey, man. Like, you know? By the way, big win for uh, Bryce, the GM. That's true. Big win for Bryce, hey, the GM. You know? So, while I, I, I appreciate him being able to come in earlier into a game, and this happened in the postseason last year where he came in the third of the of game one down in, mm-hmm. in Atlanta, and I appreciate getting through a, a, a key portion of the lineup. Late in the games just matter, you know, as, as it gets to – crunch time and he just has my trust way more than sir anthony and if it's the eighth if it's the ninth like i i think for a long time we viewed the back of the bullpen as alvarado and sir anthony i wanted to be alvarado hoff i agree with you yeah he's also honestly among the best dirty inning relievers i ever remember in my life i know i don't ever remember a guy consistently coming into dirty innings and getting at like seriously it is it's the, and that takes something, you he's, know. He's really I know we make this comp a lot, but he just he's so Madsen. Yeah. Like he's so Madsen. Now he has a uh, more of a slider than Madsen had. Mm-hmm. Like Madsen developed a little cutter, but like tall, that the the split moves like Madsen's change mm-hmm. up. Now change up was like eighty three off of ninety seven. Mm-hmm. Madsen. Dude, sick. Madsen is like one prime of the Prime Madsen was sick. Dude, Prime Madsen. In in oh nine and ten was their best reliever. He was wait, he was better than Lidge. He was better than Lidge in oh eight too. Was horrible. No, yeah, no. I mean he was just, in oh eight. Even though I'm saying I think Madsen was better than Lidge in oh eight. I know the numbers or whatever. But I think Madsen was their most talented reliever all those years. Dude, I think I think he's still the most underrated player. Of that, yeah, that I agree run. with you. Yeah, we never. You're right. We never yeah. talk about Madsen. Massive. The bridge to Lidge. You're right. It's yeah. a really good point. Yeah, you. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you made one. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, let's get to. What do you want to tackle? Are next? you running out of things to talk no, about? No, we've got I'm trying to say what to go to next. We've got to get through all this stuff here. Like, listen, what's next? Listen, point guard. Yeah, that's what I do here. Yeah. Let's talk. All right. You're right. I do need to dish. All right. <laughs> Give me the no look. There's a lot to react to. Disaster weekend. It almost was a disaster. It almost was. It was this close oh, to being man. a disaster. Shout buddy. out to Adam Duvall. Uh, especially if they blow that, oh, too. Oh, my up, goodness. Uh, uh, well, although, let me say this. Like, the the Braves got a lot of BS hits this weekend too. Like there was like there was a couple of moments on Saturday where it was like Harper ripped the bottle. Oh, I know. And yeah, and and Tr- Turner was off first base yeah. and he got doubled up. He no, couldn't do anything. It was like all right, well that sucked. Like, yeah, Riley made some crazy yeah. plays on, on Saturday. Yeah. Like what, meanwhile, the stupid blooper over uh, Harper's Harper's head was an, annoying. Like mm-hmm. eh, this little bad luck was mixed in. in I like on this. Saturday. I like this angle. Yeah, 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 we're yeah, turning yeah. here. I'm not a huge fan of having to use bad <laughs> luck or or BABIP or you know or strictly eye test and boomer opinions in this podcast. But sometimes you gotta call call the truth the truth. That's your damn straight. Yeah. All right, uh, Ranger. Oh, yeah. Because Wheeler Wheeler was perfect. You know, no complaints. Dude. Nola was Aaron Nola <laughs> for most of last year. <laughs> Ranger, you know, comes out, gives up two run homer, but then really mostly settling in the other run. But like, I thought, you know, yes. that was pretty good for Ranger. It was good. No, it was it was a, it was a big step forward. He got a good amount of strikeouts, and it was so funny because, like, him and Sale are so different. Mm-hmm. Like Sale's ninety six, oh, com- like right? completely, even the way they move about on the mound, yeah. like everything about him. Ranger's just like, eh, happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sale it in there. Sale looks like he's gonna kill someone. I know. Um. So yeah. So I just thought. I thought Rangers really good. It was one of the starts where they like, could have got. I don't know how that Albies ball got out. I don't either. Like I thought, I thought it was a pop up. I thought I was gonna get to the wall, but I thought it was a pop up, and it was. It was just so. I th- when the, I figured they were gonna lose when the JT ball didn't go uh-huh. out. Uh huh. And it was. Did you see the note about that? No. There's only yeah. two ballparks that. that would all not have of gone baseball. Out of, yep. It's great. Which it's great. I was told yeah. Citizens Bank Park was a fan <laughs> box. I, I was surprised at that too. I'm like, wait, so there's a spot in Citizens Bank is, Park yeah. that's deeper than any other park except Camden? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That was a weird one, but. 
Yeah, so so you know the Albies ball he got out. It was like eh, but he he settled in fine. I thought the pitch selection on on when he allowed the third run was annoying. Like he had him set up for a fastball, or he had him set up for a change up down or a sinker down, and he went like fastball right down the middle, which I don't think he was trying to do. But I saw his bad pitch selection. But uh, I thought he was really good. I, I thought he was perfectly fine. And it's just when we're when we're evaluating guys we trust, you know, and he is just continuing to become a guy we trust now. Sanchez is a huge one tonight huge. because if he's not, he doesn't have to be what he was last year. Last year oh, was a three no. six, yeah. So, but he also can't like completely backtrack off, yeah. off last year with the with the fifth starter right now being Spencer Turnbull. So Ranger just becomes that much more important. Like you, you can't have, especially Nola being Nola, you don't always know what you're gonna get. <laughs> like Ranger has Good to thing be. They a guy. paid him 170. No, I know. Well, he's fine. It's just. It's just I never know if it's going to be seven innings, one run. Yeah, or, or seven innings or three innings, seven runs. Yeah, exactly. Well, go, even when he allows seven, he's usually getting. Yeah, he usually get through. Yeah, you're right. True. Innings, baby. Yeah, innings, they're right. valuable. They I don't are. know if you've heard that before. Yes, I've but heard that's a phrase. Innings are valuable. Yes. So <laughs> when you have like like Sanchez or, or Ranger, just has to be six innings, three runs, or six innings, four runs mm-hmm. on most outings because Wheeler's going to be Wheeler. Like he clearly has taken. He's. He's like, because last year, I mean, Wheeler did pitch to a 3 5, yeah, I think, in the regular yeah. season last year. So, you know, while in the postseason, he's unbelievable, like lowest whip in the history of baseball. In the regular season, he wasn't like lockdown, lockdown. So, it, it's just it's just imperative for Ranger to be that. And I thought Sunday was, was really good from the standpoint of last year in the regular season, he was also really hit or miss. I think we, I think we used the, the, the postseason. As a, as the barometer for the entire season, mm-hmm. where, where that's not really no, true. No, it's not fair. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. not really true at all. Yeah. And I thought that Sunday was a lot like the postseason Ranger, and that's what I wanted to see when I heard you know JT talking about he looks the best he's looked in in a couple of years. So big step forward for for Ranger. All right, let's get to the bats. We'll get to like individual guys overall. What like is is Roas your biggest takeaway? Just looking over match, like what was your because again, look, we're not going to overreact to the first three games, especially with the bats. Like you know, it it is what it is. But but what stuck out? To no, you the it most? was Rojas was not my biggest. My biggest takeaway was still the chasing. I mean, Castellanos, Turner, like, I it it it, it just and, and maybe it's P, PTSD from the postseason yeah, last maybe year. Maybe it's the excitement of getting out there and all sure. that. Sure. You know? But again, like Castellanos trying to stretch that that single into a double oh yesterday. God, like, I know. Calm down. I know. Calm him down. him him getting the bases loaded walk and holding off two straight pitches outside was the single most shocking thing that in the entire weekend. Right. So I couldn't. I like. That's the most I've ever like jumped up from a walk. It's like no way. I can't believe that happened. That's the most. Well, no. That is shock wise, not excitement wise. Oh. Like I couldn't believe that happened. Brett Myers worked a walk. I know, but mm-hmm. that in the moment you knew you felt that coming. You know the magic. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I like the Rojas thing. It's gonna be like it's gonna be excruciating. Oh yeah, it's a thing. It's definitely a because thing. Because especially the lineup Sunday, it was once you got through the first six and you look at the bottom of Edmundo, mm-hmm. who actually Pache. was one of the few guys who actually you know was, was hitting Edmundo Pache and, and Rojas. I'm like, what are we? Doing? Yeah, it's tough. What it's are we tough, doing man. here? That's bad. So no, I just I, you know turn around the big hit on Sunday. That was good. Huge. Yeah, uh, they needed it. Um, but I thought. Little too much chasing, and and that is going to be something to monitor. I think a uh, majority of the season, but I also think that you know they brought in a new guy to help fix that or help help that, and I think that's going to take a little time. bit of time. So if they're still doing it, like it's one, it's something to monitor a lot in the first month, but I think by month two, hopefully we see the changes starting to happen first because in spring training, I think it's just hard to implement it when you're not getting everyday reps and stuff. So I'll be curious to see if by May we start to see a little bit more, like better plans at the plate. Were there any things, look, it was not a uh, weekend of, of like, even though they won a game and it still feels like it was like a, a like well, was exhale. exhale. Exactly. Yeah. Were there things that, that you look, I mean, outside of Wheeler, but like, were there things we were like, I'm really excited. Like, I mean, Kyle Schwarber looks spry. Like Kyle Schwarber's still in their base. Like uh-huh. maybe the knee is a little better. Maybe that'll help. Like, no. I mean, like, were there any other things? You, I thought JT swing looked look pretty good for the most part. Like I mean, that was things, bomb. That's what I mean. Like, and the other one should have been over. Like, so like when you look in, like, were there certain things that like to, some, some positives to take away? For sure. I mean, Hoffman, I thought was the, the star of the weekend mm-hmm. or him and Ranger. Well, besides Zach. Wheeler. Yeah. Besides Wheeler. But I thought Hoffman was like, okay, 
it translated over, which I think is big. Which is huge because we'd only seen him do it that year, you yeah. know? So it's like, you know, yeah. yeah. And he's been a <laughs> pretty big bust before that. Yeah, uh, yeah. You could say that. I mean, ninth pick in the draft, right? But how about Schwarber, man? He had the uh, he had a little of uh, uh, excuse me single over the shortstop. Yep. Laser Smoked shot. Them all. Yeah, well, I think it was they said uh, it was like the fourth hardest ball he's ever hit. Really? Yeah, I think it was like one fourteen and a half or something like that. Yeah, ball was, ball was yeah, it got out quick. And then he had a, a single up the middle. And I did mm-hmm. have a double play. Yep. <laughs> which yep, wasn't great. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> he looked, but he looked, he looked like he's more conscious of putting the ball in play. Yeah, he did. Which is, eh. <laughs> like, I know we need, uh, we're big, put the ball in play. I like play, you guys. going the other way on that. That's well, strong. Like, you got to put the ball in play. Hey, Kyle, you know, it's a home run. Listen, I, would I rather hit him at 250? Diggers, would you rather hit him at 250 with like 30 homers or. 200 with 45, yeah, I'd rather like have the 245. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought, you know, I, I, thought, I think he looks skinnier. Yeah. And it, his, his whole, um, like, setup looks, he looks more crouched, I guess. And he just looks more balanced. And usually it seems like it takes until June for him to look balanced. Mm-hmm. So I think it's, it's at least a good sign from that standpoint. But at the same time, I am a little worried of, like, if he starts too hot. Oh no! The, the oh. reverse season, right? Oh, can you imagine? Like, w- w- what's next? He's not gonna hit in the NLCS. Can you imagine? Like, if oh god, <laughs> and he's just gonna hit the wild card. Just gets like ice division cold around come June, and then it's like, well, that was great. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, Kyle we'll, was betting three fifty earlier in the year, and he ended at two hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, can't have that. Can't have that. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm a, I'm a big fan of consistency. I'm a yeah. big fan of knowing what I'm gonna get. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and if he's gonna be a little. If he's coming out the gate a little too hot. Yeah, it might be a, might yeah. be a mistake. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. You'll take please. it? Yes, yes. You'll take it. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give it to me. That's good. Please, Kyle. Uh, Soto, I, I thought Gregor Soto looked okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, every time Maddles hits a ball in the air, I assume it's going uh-huh. 700. Uh-huh. Eight. And one of them did. Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> the Braves are Nolan good, man. Yeah. Like, you know. Braves are good. They're good. They're good. And they're it's, just good. They were very. And they won a game where Max Free got two outs. I mean, that's, you know. Yeah. Good. Well, they seem they really want they really think that they send a message this weekend. I know, and it's like, like guys, who cares? Like Michael Harris tweeting every like, I'm rent free in your head. Like, did he really? He did. Yeah, wow. yeah. And they said like, I don't know. He's talking about how I don't know. He 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 acted like we care so much about the regular season, but he completely missed that we beat you in the postseason yeah, it's last like, three years. Literally, don't. That's the point. The opposite <laughs> of that. But so I, I just yeah. they clearly were like, we're gonna go in there. We're gonna we're gonna show them what it, how mm-hmm. it is. Like this is what we do. And I just I. I did. Cool. Yeah. You've, good for you. Great. You've won 100 games yeah. the last two seasons, and it just hasn't mattered at all. Yeah. So, like, if, I know because some people were like, oh, man, Bryce sent a message. This is it. They send the message every year. They're better. <laughs> like, what, Yeah. What, what else is new? It doesn't matter. What like, else is new? And, the, and, like, they came out, like, Acuna takes the, takes the field. He's like, yeah. And Arcia takes the field. It's like, yeah. It's like, man, mm. You guys are really well, I will like, say, really trying. Uh, that was the biggest thing that I noticed being an opening day. And opening day is great, and there's an energy and excitement or whatever. But it is like after having the last game we were at being a playoff game, like it is like a like going it like it's the difference between driving a hundred and driving like ten miles an hour Even in terms though- of just energy in the ball. And again, it's opening day; it was exciting. Like it's just not comparable. Like the, the level of energy of tenseness of like, it, it's just not what it is. Like, it's not, but it did have a playoff feel to it. It was fun. It yeah. was opening day, but it wasn't like, you know, it's just the tension isn't there. It's just a different thing. No, I know. But like, <laughs> like the Marsh home run <laughs> felt like a playoff. Game. Yeah. Like Marsh at that home run. It's like, Oh man, like this means so much. And then I was like, ah, it's just game one. Yeah. <laughs> because you turn quick. <laughs> it's, yeah. just, it's, yeah. it's just game one. So, but it, it's, it's a real, it's a real rivalry, which is amazing. Yeah, you know, like the, they don't like each other. We don't like them. They don't like uh like it's across the board. And it's and it's it makes me happy from the standpoint of like I thought rivalries were kind of dead. Mm-hmm. By the way, speaking of rivalries, seems like Reese hasn't gotten over anything with uh huh. What a guy, I man. Him, he still fell. Yeah, he totally. I mean, he left and nothing changed. I love him just as much. It was like unbelievable. It was so great. He's the best. Yeah. He's the best. And there was a portion of me when they were <laughs> Struggling offensively over the week. You're like, wow, maybe I should maybe should have kept. Maybe should have kept. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I just it, it's it's so fun. Like it's so fun the the Phillies Braves thing and like Strider was really into it again and and the Braves announcer is talking about how they'll <laughs> they boo the boo, resurrection. Yeah, they were funny about it for what it's worth. Normally they were those funny, yeah. normally those things annoy me. You know me. I'm get all oh, Philly yeah. and you know how I get. Oh. But yeah, exactly. That's me. I do it. It's okay. I acknowledge it. 
I I was fine with it. I thought they were like it was it was almost like you know they were acknowledging it was a joke, and it was also like it didn't feel like they're like these a holes. No, like, no, no, yeah, it was more like. Haha. Although I do wonder if the Braves players go home to Little Tro's Park and they're like, eh, how could they not be? I mean, like, oh, yeah, you guys don't bring. Cute. They have to be talking. They never obviously would never say it publicly, but they have to talk privately. I'm like, man, <laughs> who doesn't? Of like, course, this place is so much more. Of course, so much, they, they do. care so much yes, more than, of than Atlanta. So yeah. it's just it's it's a fun it's a fun thing, and it it reminds me a lot of the 0- 07 to eleven Mets, no doubt. Where you just you just know them so well, and that's I think that's the the thing that has helped baseball the last couple of years. Now some players change teams, and I get it, but it feels like basketball. Guys change teams a lot. Football. Oh, I'm so with you on this. Baseball it is so much more consistent year to year with these teams. So right. much more. Because it's it's been the thing that I think has killed college basketball yeah. is you don't know any of the. Players. I totally agree. Yeah. And football, just their their peaks are so short. Yep. You know, quarterbacks. Sure, you're, you're used to quarterbacks being there, but for like like back in the day, you know, whether it was Tiki, whether it was Imani Toomer, whether it was yeah, it's like a three year run, a five year run, or whatever, and then it's just done. And it's over. Yeah. Baseball, the fact that Acuna. Is already in year six of his yeah, eight year deal. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> is he ins- really? Is it already in year six? Yeah. Wow. It's insane. That is unbelievable. Dude, I remember, I remember watching Acuna's like first at bats as a prospect on YouTube. Yeah. And I was like, this is a problem. Of course you did. <laughs> like, this is a- <laughs> and now he's he's almost he's almost like thirty. It it's feels crazy. Like. So, but but you you start you hate Olson, you hate Albies, you hate all these yeah, guys. Yeah, it's real. And it's and it's what makes it's what makes fun baseball fun. It's baseball. what makes sports fun. Like yeah. that that's one of the best things about sports is rivalries, hating the team you're playing, like the 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 joy of being a fan of of mm-hmm. like it's part of the whole thing. And you're right, like it did feel like it was gone. It did feel like all right, that's not gonna happen in the same way anymore. And it's there. Like it is like I hate them. Like we hate them. Mm-hmm. It's great, man. And the players don't like each other. It's even the players. You know, it's not just like a fan thing where it's like, you know, like do Eagles players hate Cowboys players? Like, probably not. Like, I don't know. Whatever they used to, like Trotter and those guys, they always, like, nowadays, I don't know. Probably not. It feels like these guys hate, like, Arcia Harper, like, all this, the Cunha stuff. Like, it feels like they actually hate each other. Mm-hmm. And I love that. Well, you would never see, like, I, you would never see a Phillies player if a Braves player hit a big home run in the postseason and say, like, oh, man, love Nice like, job, man. Way to go. Yeah, exactly. Like, Darius <laughs> Slay stud. tweeting, like, wow, great defense. <laughs> that guy said, like, Trey Diggs is a star. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. shut up. Like, what are you doing? What a sack by Micah Parsons. Love that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Love him. He's great. Yeah. Everyone should root for him. Yeah, like, what, yeah. what are you How doing? How could you not right? respect that? Yeah. It's like, yeah, pretty easily, all right? <laughs> pretty, yeah. pretty easily. Jeez. But uh, listen, now we're, we we got through the first weekend. Yes. I, didn't come, like, I, I, am, I am ready for people to stop paying attention. Until, yeah, I know. Until the postseason. Go away. <laughs> until the postseason. Yeah. 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 Win so, some games. You know, just move forward nice and easy. Moving right along. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Okay? Just take a deep breath. We survived the first weekend. Yes, we did. Survived the first weekend, and now like it should be a seventeen to twenty win month. It better be, buddy. They better they better go on a, a little run here, man. Yeah, yeah cause it, two off days, I believe. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's it. Well, with the rain, I'll probably change it this week. We'll see. But they, uh, I mean, they they play a lot of a lot of easy games in April. You know, it's like. Don't do the slow start thing, guys. Seriously, not this year. Well, not not against these opponents. That's the point. Yeah. I'm saying like you can't you can't put yourself in a hole with the schedule you have coming up. Like, if, I mean, they can, they could, you know, they, they'll be all right probably. But I believe you're <laughs> one second away from saying they will. <laughs> they, I, they might. They probably will. I mean, <laughs> no, know? they're not. A new <laughs> new ball team. I mean, it certainly looked like the Phillies to start the season. Well, no, over the I, I think I texted this to my buddy. It was like. They're the dumbest team until the postseason, and then they're winning. And then they're amazing, yeah. Like when when Gassianos got thrown out, it was like, they're so dumb. Oh, uh, I know. It's every it's like, year. What are you doing, dude? Like, what are you doing? I mean, Harper, like, there should be a higher barrier there. Like, it shouldn't be that easy to fall over and stuff. You, like, whatever. But, like, like barreling just st- be more careful with your body. You're out here saying you want to get signed until you're 43 or whatever. Like, that's not gonna help, man. Like, don't be so freaking reckless. He's like a mania. And look, I appreciate it. We love the the passion with which he plays the game. Be smart. Mm-hmm. Be smart. Like, that, what are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. It's, it's no regard for his body. Like, the guy just has no care or yeah, regard. Well, listen, it's time to start caring. 
you know. Yes, exactly. Especially if you want that extension, well, pal. Especially with a back injury. Yeah. It, well, that's the other part. It's like you already, your back's already hurt. Yes. Deep breaths. <laughs> Deep breaths. I appreciate it. You know what? It's like it's like I appreciate Embiid. Like I, I appreciate Embiid diving for loose balls. Sure, and, but it's like you're chill. seven two. Yeah, like yeah, like exactly. Jokic is never on the ground. No, he knows, he knows what he should be doing. He also can't. And jump. you know what else? Jokic is never hurt. Yeah. Shock. Well, you know? Sometimes, but yes. But, but I mean, really, like, you never hurt like Embiid. Like Jokic never misses huge swaths of time. You mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway. This was good. Yeah. All right. You got some take back action. I got some take back. So Tucker tweeted this out, and it's oh wow! It's, it's, I love the the in tweet. the room shout out. It's good. Well, Tucker did numbies on the uh, the flag tweet. Oh, you got some numbies? Yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah. a good good number that was. Well, I, mean, I didn't. So I didn't see the tweet. What was it? Well, he's he's the one that that oh uh, pointed out that they the ridiculous absurd <laughs> flag thing that we yeah, we yeah. were we're getting flags for making million, the playoffs a now. A million views on that one. It stalled out at like nine seventy five. So if you're listening and want to go, oh, look at it, that's wow. what it is. Yeah, talk to a number. So, what was the actual tweet? Just like the this is the flag. Oh, like I literally, <laughs> it was saying. literally like outside Factual the stadium. Say, oh, wow. It was the yeah. most boring thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was not much to it. And but, then I checked my phone in the fourth inning, and it had like five hundred thousand. Wow. Yeah, it blew up. Wow. I listen. Flags fly forever. Yeah, that is my. You know that. I I believe that to my core. It's one of my my number one beliefs. Real sports, fantasy sports. I'm a flags fly forever guy. <laughs> Not wild card <laughs> no, flags. What are we doing? They shouldn't even exist. There shouldn't be such a thing. Like, what are we doing here? Oh. What are we doing? Again, this is going to sound mean. This is going to sound mean. But you're a big boy organization. <laughs> yes, no, that's not like, mean. It's a fact. Like, yes. We don't need to do... E Listen, I'm glad the players got the NL championship rings last year. Yeah, but sure. But it was so... Like the whole ceremony. Again, you know, I said it at the moment. I was like, I don't need this. Yeah. I don't need some whole ceremony. Like, take your second place rings. Like, you deserve them. That's cool. But, like, I don't need to celebrate it. Like, right? We guys, lost. You guys are, like, the, the, we're entering into a new echelon. You know, we don't, I, I, Act, I don't. You're right. Act like you've been there a little bit. Yeah. I just, I don't need the wild card. Like, it just feels so Mickey Mouse. It feels so, like, like, lame. It's just lame. Like, wow. I, I, two years ago, you go to the World Series, you win the. Put a pennant up. I'm fine with that. You actually won the pennant. Like, cool. Pennant World Series, and I'm fine with and division. I'm fine with division because I've always done it. Like, I don't like. I'm not like out there like you know, yay. But yes, it's but fine. You won the cool. division. Exactly. That's fine. This is, they were a wild card team and they beat the Marlins and the Braves. It, they didn't even get to the World Series. Yeah, it's it's a it's a little. It's it's a lot more. Nah, they did take the high hopes colors of the logo, which to make is it that, fine. I appreciate fine. that. We, yeah. we, we take that. Yeah, I guess. But I was like, yeah, really sweet. It's very weird. Yeah. And not to make it about the Eagles, but like the Eagles would never do that. They would never do that. No. No. No, they wouldn't. So, yeah. The, the, the Eagles lost to the Bucks in embarrassing fashion. Yeah, gonna, hey, we gonna... made the playoffs. <laughs> let's, put a, let's put a banner up. She's like, why are we doing this? No, no, no. Yeah, like, yeah. stop. Stop. I, stop, stop, I stop, stop. Strong agree. Stop. Yeah. Like, you're a, bi you're a big boy organization. Yeah. So, the, the, the Chavez thing was obviously annoying. Mm -hmm. Should be a thing. Expected. I mean, I, who couldn't have thought that Chavez was going to come in and Duvall you know. too? I, of like, course, Duvall Are you kidding Chavez. me? Like the the least surprising thing ever that Duvall and Chavez were were at big factors in the Braves winning those games. Totally, out. yeah. There was a listen. I know that they have shelled out a lot of money in contracts yeah, the last couple. It's of years. really hard to complain about. Okay, no, no, no. Things, no. Yes. But we'll, what, we'll, we'll do it. No, no, no. <laughs> this, is, my, this is part of my point, though. Okay. I know that they have shelled out a lot of money for contracts. I know that it's a business. There was a lot of advertisements. As in oh, okay. I'm happy you brought this up. <laughs> like a lot. I was actually borderline embarrassed. Right, as like, a lot. it was like if it, like it looked like the yellow pages on the out, out, outfield. What are we doing here? Like, it, honestly, you know what? It, it it felt like a minor league stadium. It felt like a minor league stadium. You go to a minor league stadium, and rightfully so, their job is to to advertise to make money. It's not you don't make as much money as a minor league team. All that like. Like it looks, you go into Sins Bank Park now. It looked like a minor league stadium. It looked like, like in Major League when they had to sell ads. Like it just looks like Mickey. It looks like so like Mickey Mouse. Was well, the the Esplanda? Is that what it is? Esplanda the, the, or something? The, red, yeah. the orange yeah. tape. Yeah. Wasn't a huge fan of that. There's a lot. There's it's a everywhere. Lot, a it lot. Was of crazy. Yeah. A lot of advertising. I'm very with you on this. I was not into it. Uh, it just looks cheap. I mean, it's just funny because they're making money off it, but it makes it look cheap. Oh, and that, and they're gonna have. 
they're going to have ads on their uniform. Uniforms. Yeah, that's, that's the, coming too. That's why the numbers not. Yeah. So, by yeah. the way, the new uniforms are atrocious. It's bad. Like, atrocious. I had a, I had assumed that by the time the season started, they would figure it out. They didn't. <laughs> it looks really, really lame. Like it does not look. It's bad. Yeah. 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 Great. So that's fun. <laughs> that's great. That's yeah, fun. That's good. The, 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 <laughs> the, the new stats at the ballpark are so funny. Like, yeah. Like Woba who or expect, I think I saw expected, expected Woba. Woba. Yeah. It's expected great. Woba. Yeah. And it was so funny. And this is going to be a season long bit. I can already tell with Fransky in LA because they can't find pitch speed, <laughs> but they can find, <laughs> they can find seven inches of horizontal break on the, on that pitch. <laughs> and it's just like, what we've, We've gone too far. Way too far. Like way too like, far. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. The market for those people, and I'm one of them. I know horizontal break. Mm-hmm. I know vertical vertical break. I sort of know woba, and I don't know what war is. Yeah. Right. Weighted weighted on base average. I no, know, I know what, what it is. No, I know. I'm just saying like that. You know. Yeah. I like know. I like that stuff. Yeah. Like I. But speak to the market a but little it's, bit. It, it, average RBI. This is crazy. Home run. It's crazy. And put. Know your, know your know your audience. Know your audience. Like, who is this for? Who is this for? One percent of people go to a game wondering. Maybe, maybe less than one percent go to a game actually interested in what the expected woba is. Like, again, I love woba is a good stat. Like, I actually think like if you're Wobba's looking for the, like, I think it's the best I think, offensive. Stat. I agree with you. If I'm looking at like just who's the best offensive player, I'll look at their woba first. But like, first of all, expected taking the next step to expected. Big fan of expected stats. <laughs> but like. Like, no one knows what it means. No one knows what it is. No one's going into the game and saying, like, oh, cool, there's an expected WOBA. They don't even know what the number symbolizes. Like, it's like expected WOBA 430. It's like, I don't even know what that means if I'm a normal fan. Like, it's it's crazy. It makes no sense to me. Like, who are they doing it? I just don't understand. Like, I get analytics. We're all for it. Like, analytics revolution, all that stuff. We think that goes a little too far for the average fan, especially, and all that. But, like, I just am wondering, like, when, you know, the, the Phillies brass or whoever's involved in this decision is sitting there and going, like, what stat should we put up? It's like, well, we got to put expected. Like, who's like who's that expected? Whoa, who's like, this is what the people want. Like, who at any point was like, the fans want expected? Whoa, how does that, how does it get there? I think you've gone more boomer than me this podcast. Probably. Yeah. Probably, yeah. You've gone way more yeah, boomer. Probably, yeah, yeah, way yeah. more. I know you're like you're just teeing me up. Yeah, I know. I know you're entering in your mid forties, but <laughs> yeah, kind of. jump started yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. that. But yeah, no, it was funny. They c- they can't find pitch speed. Yeah, but you can find you can Great. find the horizontal break. Useful. The Schwarber steal was the best part of the weekend. By far. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. The Schwarber the Schwarber steal, I mean, especially a third. Base. Oh, a third. good base runner. He's a winner. <laughs> He's unbelievable. God, he's such a winner. He did get in there quick too. I was impressed. He was he's spry. He's spry. He he's looked spry. good. So yeah. we got Andrew Abbott. Graham Ashcraft and uh, Frankie Montas. Frankie Montas, I know, a, uh, a favorite of ours. I, uh, I know, he's been mentioned multiple was times a, in Perfect Golf Seasons, I believe. He was a big portion, yeah, of the of the, uh, of the Perfect Golf Seasons for a while. And trade them. Yeah, we love Frankie. Yeah, yeah. always have. The Op- won't, won't opening give up day on. starter a couple years ago. He, he was. Robert yeah. took him deep. He did. Who could forget? Yeah. Who could forget? So uh, <laughs> <laughs> who could forget? Two or three? Yeah, two or three. Well, the Reds, yeah, they had a, they, they had a battle all week, and with the coming uh, off of a uh, walk off back to back. I mean, you don't see that very often. Back to back homers to win it. No, and listen, the, the Reds are kind of spry. I'm not gonna not gonna Red, lie. Reds to you. have a lot. Yeah, we're getting the Reds at a good time. Like they are kind of beat up. I mean, T.J. Friedel might have been their best hitter last year. He's out for the first six weeks or uh-huh. whatever. Um, you know, so they've got some injuries in there, which helps, but. They're 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 young. And they're, well, it's not, they're, they're and, and it's a pretty good lineup. I mean, India Benson, Encarnacion, Strand, uh, Candelario Steer can hit. Yep. Uh, Ellie, obviously, Ellie. Yeah. Former. Do you remember when Nick Martini was a Philly? No, Nick Martini. The, I, the so the name sounds familiar. Like I feel like Nick yeah, Martini like, is for the is for the that's true like the deep cut, like, true sickos. Like the name sounds familiar. Like it feels like if you had said, I'd be like, yeah, maybe he was a Philly, but like I definitely so, don't. So Nick Martini was claimed off of waivers in the 2020 year, and he was going to start in the in Triple A. Good, yep. And then he didn't make the team because obviously COVID happened in the Triple A season. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he went, had two home runs on opening day. No, oh, I, I always kind of, I always kind of <laughs> believed in Nick Martini. One of your many. <laughs> one of his guys yes, that I believe in. One of the JD Davises. Those Dude, JD Davis, that uh, was a good call. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Hold on, I had JD Davis. I had Cronenworth. I had Brousseau. 
of these triple A, you know, mm-hmm. guys going off. And then Martini. Yeah. You got Martini. Yeah, look at this. And then he left. <laughs> And some would say the franchise hasn't recovered since they lost Martini. Probably. I mean, I would probably say that if I had to really, you know, think about it. Yeah. Come up with a sentence that, that made sense. That sure. would be my sentence. So the Reds are kind of frisky. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah. of course, I'm semi-nervous about this series. Yeah. How could you not They're be? They're kind I mean, of frisky. Again, uh, uh, after this weekend, I'm fully in. The, uh, they need to win games in, in April and May before I'm going to just expect them to win games in April and May. Right. I hate it, but that's where I'm at. Like, I will... I will be surprised when they start winning games in April and May. So please surprise me. I, uh, the one bit that I wish we didn't get bullied out of doing, because I think it's funny, is the, is the, <laughs> it was the Kurt Suzuki. Ah, oh, who's going to kill us this, this, this week? Yeah. And the, the guy always went off. Yeah. So I'm putting my, uh, my, my hat into the ring of Spencer Steer. So, okay. So, yeah. So the reason we got bullied <laughs> off is it because we would say it and then the guy would go nuts and people get mad at us. So, I'm excited for the Spencer Steer, Spencer you know, Steer. lash back at us. That's going to be awesome. All right. You got anything else? Mm. I, I can't wait for Spencer Turnbull tomorrow. I know. I, you're really, I, it's going to get rained out probably, but yeah. Really? I don't Listen know. Mother Nature. So I don't know. Everyone just keeps telling me. Well, today's not going to get rained out. It's going to, it's going to clear up in the afternoon. We'll have a window. We'll have a window to love get a ball good, game. Love a good window for love a ball game. Love a good window That's for right. a ball game. That's right. No, I just, my problem is, or not my problem, the thing I love about baseball and like get is I I just can't wait to see what new guys like I I sort of know what I'm getting out of almost everyone on the Phillies mm-hmm. you know like sometimes the young players go off it's like that's oh, cool but like the new addition that you don't really know yet who he is mm-hmm. that's 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 my lane <laughs> that's my lane three games into the season what are you excited about Jack the guy we don't know yet Spencer Turn that's what I'm <laughs> yeah. Spencer yeah. Turn it's gonna be good it's gonna can't be good. wait for it all right we'll be back later in the week hopefully reacting to three games but maybe two we'll see what happens either way we'll be back. Well, yeah, because you got a little day game last Yeah, we're going to see what happens. That could get rained out, too, apparently. So, <sighs> Come on. Enough with the rain. Enough with the rain. Enough with the freaking rain. All right? All right. Uh, we'll be back later in the week. Two or three. All right? There it yeah, is. Even a sweep. All right? There it we, is. Can we get crazy here? All right. He's Fritz himself. Tonight.